Hi, this is Thresden, and this is a walkthrough of the Stonethorn DLC for Elder Scrolls Online. There's two dungeons in this DLC, so I'm going to start the first one, but I believe we should be able to pick up the quest from within the interface. Let me see here. Okay, this is probably where it is. Somewhere in here. Stories. Dungeon DLC. All right, let's do Castle Thorn first. It says, after years of isolation, the mysterious Lady Thorn now amasses a dread army within the walls of her ancient castle. Gather your allies, storm the fortress gate, and stop the Thorn Legion before it marches on Western Skyrim. Quest Blood of the Past. Quest available. Gwyndis arrived at Castle Thorn to investigate a story that Lady Thorn has started amassing an army. She wants to know what the lady is planning and asked me to help uncover it. Accept quest. All right, now it should give me a quest marker that tells me where Gwyndis is. Pleased to see you in solitude, stranger. see here I don't see a quest marker anywhere there's Castle Thorn right there All right I'm just gonna travel there and see if we can pick up the quest once we get there see it on my mini map now the question is is it on the top of a mountain or something where it's gonna be hard to get to I need to eat some food. Let's see what I've got. It's been a while since I've played this character. This is the character that I usually play the Greymore chapter on when I'm not recording. So the character I do my Greymore walkthrough on is a different character. This is the one that I normally play that I don't show to anybody. You are about to enter a group dungeon. Are you ready to leave your current zone? Enter Castle Thorn. Despite Lady Thorn's mysterious past, the Raven Watch never felt the need to deal with her directly. She seemed content to hide away in the mountains, alone in her horrific castle. This one wonders if ignoring her was a terrible mistake. Adusadaro. All right, I'm gonna go take the quest and listen to all the dialogue. Exotic has been updated with the Energetic Dwarven Shock Spider collectible. Okay. Um, and then once I'm finished just picking up the dialogue here, I'm going to try to find some people to join me. Because obviously I can't solo this. There's Gwyndis. What are the odds? Here I am about to sneak into yet another mysterious castle filled with vampiric threats, and then you trot up. Is hanging around ancient architecture just your idea of a good time? Though, to be honest, it's good to see you. 
What vampire threat? Why are you two here? I could ask the same of you, but I don't really care. The ruler of this castle, one Lady Thorn, apparently decided to start amassing her own vampiric army. Bad move on her part. I want to know what she's planning, and then stop it. And what about your companion? This worm of a fellow found me in solitude, insists he just escaped this place, and needs to show me what the lady's up to. The problem is, I can't sneak in my usual way with him in tow. Hey, since you're here, feel like helping me storm a castle? Sure, I'll help you get inside the castle and uncover Lady Thorn's plan. Talfig claims there's a secret door that he and I can use to slip in, but Lady Thorn's creatures heavily patrol the area around it. If you fight your way past the front gate, the racket should draw them away. This is going to be fun. What brought you out here? Ravenwatch business? Recent events keep the entirety of House Ravenwatch on high alert. I came north to help my siblings with those terrible storms. We train to handle our kin who get out of control, but the scale of this is so large, I can barely grasp it. Tell me more about this Lady Thorn. Lady Thorn is one of those vampires that we never really need to worry about. Her clan keeps to themselves and rarely disturbs the regular folk nearby. That sense of privacy means we don't know too much about her, unfortunately. There's no information about her at all? Only fragments. We know Lady Thorn is old. Really old. Records show she's a high elf who first drew attention in the late First Era. That's when she kicked a local Jarl out of this castle and moved her clan in. But really, that's all I know. So, the Ravenwatch youngling recruited others to break into this fortress of the dead. Not really what I expected, but welcome nonetheless. We'll need the diversion if she and I are to sneak in. Gwinda's told me you broke free from this castle. Yes. And I don't know why I thought it was a good idea to return. The experiments they performed on me and others like me were unspeakable. What kind of experiments? I did just say they were unspeakable, yes? Ah, uh, apologies. It's just so hard to think back on. They kept us in cages, barely fed us. Mindless fiends would stagger by our cells, growling. A strange creature would come by and whisper an unnatural language. What kind of creature? Did it do anything else? Never in all my existence have I seen anything like it. Once, it held out its palms toward me and began whispering. A wisp of magic emerged and entered my chest. I could feel it inside me, writhing. I think it was testing my soul. Why do you need to take Gwyndas into a side door? They hold the prisoners underground, deep below the castle. She needs to see what Lady Thorn's creatures have done to them. Only then will Gwendis understand the extent of what must be done. Okay. Gwendis, what do you have to say about that? Talfig claims there's a secret door that he and I can use to slip in. But Lady Thorn's creatures heavily patrol the okay, area around Okay, is this about it. the Grey Host? You, find... you noticed the banners on the castle walls, huh? Not an encouraging sign. If Lady Thorn really has built an army, then it only increases the threat from the Grey Host. Which means it's more important than ever that we stop it. Okay. Now, I believe I'm going to run into enemies at this point. All right. That should draw the patrols. Now show me the secret door. Yes, this way. And step quietly. The stones have ears. All right, I got a group together. So here we go. already read the beginning text, but we'll be reading the rest. Same. First run through. Alright, good. Good, good, good. We're in a group with people that have not done it before. So they won't get mad at me for listening to all the voice acted dialogue. Somebody's looking for unleashed terror jewelry. Sure.
All right, that should draw the patrols. Now show me the secret door. Yes, this way, and step quietly. The stones have ears. Let us hope that our control rooms for Vardaroth stay in place. We shall lift you into a fiend! So far, so good. I assume we need to keep going this way. Sorry, all one tick. Okay, so it's got to wait on something. Most of the gates is a big evil looking dog right there. I guess this is the first boss. Well, maybe not. That seemed too easy to be a boss.
Exactly. Uninvited guests in my home. Please forgive my hospitality. I have not entertained in centuries. I guess I should have cheered. Uh, maybe I'll do it next time. More of these demonic dog things. They locked up a new batch in the basement. Oh, I love when new ones come to you. I thought I heard a bit of a scuffle up here. Honestly, I'm surprised to see you again. I thought the guard dog would make short work. Hmm. You should be pleased. No need to fear with us around. Nicely done, diverting the castle's patrols towards the front hall. We didn't encounter any trouble slipping in the side entrance. Which is likely for the best. My confidence that Talfig will betray us grows stronger by the second. Oh really? Did you find what Talfig wanted to show you? We sure did. Basement prisons, just as Talfig claimed. Okay. Recently used and in horrifying conditions. Blood and bones everywhere. I think I saw a dismembered leg. Worryingly, I didn't see any actual prisoners. Really? Basement prisons like the ones we saw in Greymore Keep? Extremely similar. Well, I suppose most prisons look the same. But you're right. These felt more like livestock pens. Just like those in the Keep. We need to find out what Lady Thorne did with those prisoners. And what she offers the Ashen Lord. Alright. I admit, I underestimated you. Once we heard the fighting begin, I assumed your distraction would be short-lived. The mindless creatures that crawl around this castle aren't known for toying with their prey, hmm? Thankfully, you survived. What do you know about those mindless creatures? What more is there to know than what you've already seen? The fiends are vicious, brutal creations of Lady Thorns. I recognize some of them as fellow prisoners. She twists them, removes their souls somehow. Quite remarkable, really. Remarkable. You sound like you respect them. Ah, I mean, if I wanted to build an army, having mindless hordes at the front lines would be an asset, yes? And if I could convert them from my opponent's forces, even better, hmm? I mean, that is, if I wanted to do that. <laughs> All right, they're running ahead of me, unfortunately. My lady has need of you, but she has no use for the others. No! You won't get away so easily! You can handle this. I refuse to let him win. Alright, what are we doing? Disappearing. Oh, great. I'm dead. Yeah. Sounds 
looks like they're either okay. Resume, good. Fight these imps. low on health. We did this again.
away. Got away. He moved so fast. Just caught me by surprise. I knew that snake was lying, but I just wanted to see what he planned, what this was all about. I never expected he would catch me so unaware. He hits harder than a giant. Cracked my ribs, probably. I don't understand how he's so powerful. So Talfic lied the whole time? Oh yeah, couldn't you tell? I marked him as full of deer dung from the moment he approached me in solitude. But why all the deception? It sounded like Lady Thorne wanted him, wanted him to bring you here. Yeah. That's a little disconcerting. Usually evil vampires don't want House Ravenwatch anywhere near their business. If she thinks I'll join this army of hers, she's gone mad from isolation. So what do we do now? Well, I'm going to rest here until my bones fuse back together. Shouldn't take but a few moments. In the meantime, go ahead and clear the way. See what you can learn about Lady Thorne's army, and hopefully, where we can find her. All right. Where is everyone? Probably reading grass steps. Target dummy. It doesn't work though. Kind of secret way to bypass all the bad guys. Hang them to bleed. Not let my pets tear you limb from limb. Vardaroth can take your soul instead. By the way, you'll notice I'm using a sword and shield for one of my weapons. It's not really recommended for a DPS character, but uh, I'm trying to level it, so that's why I'm using it. Okay, Nerun Ravenborn says, make sure you burn the adds first. Switch when they spawn. Okay. I can do that.
at this crazy blob thing. Tried to block, but I was too late. Oh, I got a target on me. I think I know where to find Lady Thorn. Push onto the cathedral while I search for clues here. By all the gods, what kind of monster does this? Siphoning the very energies from living beings to reanimate vampires. They're just husks controlled by spirits. Why would Lady Thorn reanimate dead vampires? I can see the vicious logic. Mindless fighters ready to serve like a blood fiend. But mimicking all the powers of a vampire, they'd be unstoppable. It seems you ended her source of these creatures. Whatever that was, you sent it back to Oblivion. What are you looking for here? I want to destroy anything that could be used to bring another one of those creatures back to our world. Something like this must never happen again. Okay. Uh-oh. I need my buff food. Cabinet, empty dresser, apples, alchemy bottle, potion. champion point.
think I still have enlightenment, so I guess it shouldn't be surprising. Coins. some bad stuff in this place. Got a blueprint. Heavy sack. really a chest. There's no lock on it. Got another diagram or pattern or something. Racking up tonight. Gargoyles. 
Was this Alphix. That was the guy that betrayed her. Too far ahead. Lady Thorn should be inside. That was the guy that betrayed us and uh, broke her ribs. We just killed him. Turned out he was a vampire lord. the vampirist that runs all of this. Is this her? Let's do it. Now I can try my new spells. Go around to some ads. 
was hoping this was going to be the final boss, but some got some trash to deal with first. Found what remains of the prisoners. Such brutality. Wait, look at all these documents. Where There's information she? here about Lady Thorn and oh. the Grey Host. I need to study this. I need to study stealing these grapes is what I need to study. Another blueprint. Nice. These documents are a treasure trove. Papers that go back into the first era. All of them detailing parts of the Grey Host's history. Lady Thorne's connection to the Host are deeper than I realized. How deep a connection are you talking about? From what I can tell, Lady Thorne used to be Lady Ingrian of Clan Dereni. I wonder why she changed her name. And this is interesting. A letter expressing gratitude for providing shelter in our darkest hour. What does it all mean? I don't know yet, but it's imperative I figure it out. The safety of Tamriel could rely on it. Look, Lady Thorne is a threat, and I've seen you fight. No matter what she throws at you, I know you can handle it. You must take her down. Where will you be? I need to collect as much of these documents as I can before something happens to them. There's someone I know that could make good use of the information here. I'll join you as soon as I can. Alright, I just realized that my fan was pointed at my head, so if there was a bunch of distortion, I apologize. Fixed it now. We should be okay the rest of the video. Right. We have to use corpses? Try not to die too quickly. Expose your veins. I want a taste. Don't be shy. It's almost time for dinner. I can't use my ultimate because she keeps flying. Your struggle gets tastier by the second. Don't move around so much. You never know what lies in the dark. Enough playtime. Finally. I thirst for blood. She finally got on the ground and I can use my ultimate. Don't look so worn out. I just get started. Okay. Whoa. Yeah, I did not realize I needed to stay in the light. Accept my embrace.
Well, it's kind of hard to fight when we... Okay, it's finally over. I hunger for more. Suffer. There is no escape. Like just for a second to kill something, and I have to run back in. Like that. Oh. All right, back to fighting. Lady Thorn is no more. Good riddance. I need to speak with you about what I found in those documents. All right. An undead army shattered. An evil vampire lord destroyed. And a monstrous I don't know what banished back to oblivion. You do incredible work. Seriously, I don't know what might have happened if you weren't here. Thanks. What's next for you? My next step is contacting House Ravenwatch to tell them what we found. Lady Thorne's connection to the Grey Host needs deeper investigation. Before I go, I'd like you to take this. Without you, I might be up on one of those hooks. Thanks. Okay, we got unidentified Castle Thorn armaments. The documents we found describe Lady Thorne's plan in significant detail. An army of darkness joining forces with the Grey Host. If we hadn't come along, she'd be unstoppable. Good thing Talfic didn't count on you showing up. What was her plan to build the army? She wanted to find a way to mass-produce those revived vampire soldiers we saw. Imagine the strength of an army filled with thousands of those creatures. Or possibly even blood knights. Ugh. Thousands of Talfigs. What do you think House Ravenwatch will do with the information? Send me on another mission, most likely. They know I get restless if I'm not risking my life for some reason or another. At the moment, they're trying to track down the lair of some crazy alchemist. Maybe I'll try to find that. All right. No Unleashed Terror. Let me check and see. This guy's looking for Unleashed Terror stuff. No, I just got Crimson Greaves. I just got Crimson Greaves is all. Wait. Maybe I could have gone out that exit right there. No, I guess this is the way out, right here.
As you can see, I was in East March hanging out while I waited for the group to form. All right, that's going to be it for today. In the next uh, next video I put out, it'll be the other dungeon from this DLC. I uh, can't remember what the name of it is, but that was pretty fun. I don't know if it looked as fun as it actually was, but it was pretty fun, and it kind of hinted at maybe there's going to be some kind of reanimated vampires in the story DLC that we get at the end of the year. We'll see. Anyway, until next time, thanks for watching. See you later.